Well, greetings on this Thursday. Lee Harder from the TND with you. Yesterday's Orangeburg Massacre Remembrance Ceremony noted civil rights and noted Orangeburg resident, noted civil rights photographer and Orangeburg resident Cecil Williams speaking, talking about we must not ever forget that day. And uh, certainly Cecil made some interesting points about his role as a photographer. It was quite interesting to him to have, hear him talk about how photographers uh, which makes sense, have a way of remembering a lot of faces and names. He says he uh, remembers so many things about that entire era that he captured in photographs. Uh, take a look at the coverage today. Uh, story today, too, about uh, a resident complaining to county council about what the belief is that the new OW High School could actually be located near the Bonneville subdivision on Belleville Road. Let's just say that this person doesn't like that. There's no confirmation of that yet being a site. Murdoch trial continues in Colleton County. Uh, we have got a collection of stories that date back to the beginning of the trial at the TND.com. If you want to catch up on uh, what is just an amazing, uh, amazing trial, go ahead and check out, check out the coverage we've got there. Won't come as a shock to you. No more drought, at least for now in South Carolina, the drought committee has declared the entire state free, and that is due to a lot of recent rains. We will uh, also today tell you about Don Staley's team, uh, UConn's coach, complaining about the, I guess, rough play against his his uh, center. That uh, Don Staley fired back on that and pretty much said that uh, her her team plays the game the way they're supposed to. And uh, they are winners. And she said she did not complain back when, when UConn was beating up on the Gamecocks on a regular basis and uh, really kind of pretty much made it she doesn't want to hear, hear it. Anyway, uh, interesting also about Dawn Staley, the Carolina women's coach, they're going to build a statue to her in Columbia. And with her continuing success, that uh, there may be more than one ultimately. Check out today also today's editorial. Uh, interesting we think that calls attention to the Orangeburg Municipal Airport and the late Reese Early's uh, sort of a unspoken, unwritten maybe mission, although he did write, we're talking about that, about uh, Orangeburg Municipal Airport and his goal that want to see people know that uh, Orangeburg has an airport and has very good reasons to be proud of it. All right, all that at the TND.com and a lot more. Check us out. See you tomorrow.